हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेज टूडे वी आर हेयर टू लर्न हाउ टू कलेक्ट पेंट एविडेंस एट अ क्राइम सीन दिस टॉपिक इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय हर्षत निरंजन वॉल्टियर ऑफ ए एफ आर एस क्रिमिनोलॉजी ब्रांच लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द कॉन्टेंट्स फर्स्ट वील हैव अ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन पेंट एंड इट्स कंपोजिशन देन वील मूव फर्दर टू लर्न अबाउट द फॉरेंसिक सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पेंट देन इन द नेक्स्ट लाइट वी लर्न few basics of paint evidence collection further going into details of collection and preservation of paint specimens at the end we'll see some few examples where paint evidence could prove useful for the purpose of solving of the case let's have a look at the basic definition of paint any pigmented liquid that is liquefiable or solid mastic composition that converts to a solid film after its application in thin layers to a substrate its main purpose is to protect color or provide texture hence we can say that paint can be defined as a substance composed of solid coloring matter suspended in a liquid medium it can be applied as a protective or decorative coating to various surfaces materials etc moving on to the composition of paint we can see that it is comprised of four components that are pigment binder liquid and additive pigment provides color and hide while binders work to bind the pigment together and create the paint film solvents are liquids that are suspended in the ingredients and allow you to place the paint on the surfaces and additives provide specific paint properties such as mildew resistance paint evidence is possess great significance when it comes to analysis of crime and crime scene remnants of paint from a crime scene can reveal a significant amount of information upon subjecting to forensic analysis paint is generally transferred as a trace evidence from accused to the crime scene or victim's body it can be used purposely to form a link between the accused or the suspect to the crime scene the main aim of the analysis of the paint sample is to create a link between place person and objects forensic analysis of paint gives the necessary information required to lead the investigation narrowing the list of suspects and com- by comparison between the test and the control sample these are some basics of paint evidence collection which must be kept in mind while collecting paint samples from the crime scene the first and the foremost thing that needs to be done as we all know is to secure the crime scene then the crime scene will be photographed with each and every thing placed exactly where it was found hence the crime scene needs to remain untouched up until each corner of the scene is recorded via photos and videos then after all this is done we will proceed to collect the paint samples these are some points on how the collection and preservation of paint specimens is done scrape the paint sample from the original surface or remove already fallen chips using tweezers use separate containers for all samples collected use paper binders to collect pieces of paints only if large pieces are to be collected collect paint from all layers some examples of where paint evidence could prove useful is hit and run cases burglary cases assault cases and many more in hit and run case we can find the paint evidence on victim's clothes and suspect's car in burglary case paint can be seen on the door and the suspect's car from the crowbar in assault cases weapon used on the suspect or victim or any other object found in the crime scene could be used thank you